Sticky Light Bowgun. Probably one of the most... I, people... I would say cheese strats are, you know, a lot of people have mixed feelings about it, I think. They either think it's like, oh, it's you're just doing the easy route or like, you know, there's that. But it's one of the, I, I don't know, it's one of the fun, m more fun laid back ways to play Monster Hunter, in my opinion. Because like, you don't have to worry about too much, you know, you can kind of just evade, do all that stuff if you've got a right build. And today, we're going to be going over... An insane sticky light bowgun build with the new Fatalis armor because you just uh, I want to I want to kind of cover what I've been building and all that stuff with this new armor now after this my next video or an un upcoming video I'm probably going to be showcasing all of my just builds with uh with uh but not like going over in depth. I'm just going to showcase the other melee builds and what I'm doing and maybe just pick and choose a couple that are going to be a little bit different because I don't want to, I, I don't really want to go into full detail about like, there's this, you have to do this, there's this and kind of talk about it. Like I did with uh, all the other build videos in the build, you know, so I kind of want to group them all together, get done with all the uh, um, range range ones we still have the bow left but i'll probably just throw that in with a melee and just showcase you guys so that if you guys want to watch a video and you want to get a kind of really good build or you know maybe just work some things around there's gonna be that so today sticky light bowgun my name is thatcher if you guys do enjoy today's video make sure you leave a like down below comment if you like playing sticky light bowgun i know some people don't some people do it's up to you whatever you want to do i like doing it every once in a while and it's i think it's really cool and a really good way to farm fatalis if you need it so there's that subscribe to your youtube channel do it also twitch i stream every monday hello correction uh so i said that i start stream every monday we're actually gonna be switching the stream schedule to wednesday um because of you know scheduling problems and you know i uh, want stuff to like hang out with my girly friend and you know just kind of yeah, just gonna have to work it out on wednesdays if i have time for it on mondays or i don't end up doing anything i'll probably still do it but we're gonna be switching it to wednesdays for you guys um so there's that go get my twitch follow link will be down in the description below don't you love the laid back you know that uh, nothing's on it's just me but i just wanted to give the little correction there so let's jump back into today's video is Go give me a follow. Link will be down in the description below. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into today's build video. So to start things off, originally you would build the uh, the Mister the Light Bowgun Safi Aqu the Safi Aqua Shot would is the Light Bowgun the go-to Sticky Light Bowgun because Safi Jiva gave you that awakened ability slot where you could have the Narcacuga piece paired up with the um, Zoar pieces to have artillery with. Razor Sharp and True Spare Shot. Well, with Mr. Fatalis being the god tier of a monster and his armor being the godsend that everybody wanted, we don't need Nargakuga or Zora Magdaros armor anymore, which is so nice. It's so freaking nice. Now, before I start and show the case on the build, you will have different decorations than I will. You will probably be able to gem in other things than I will. You will probably have better decorations than I will. This is only kind of the path that I've took and how I've been taking it. So now that I have that out of the way and, you know, so paper on like your build's trash. It's so trash. I don't have the right decorations. I don't have all the best decorations. Things can be a little bit different. So there you just just a little throwing that out there. You're going to it's going to be a little bit different, but the same concept is there to start things off. We have Safi's Aqua Shot. I have four, uh, three attack fives, one attack six, and I was trading out the Nargakuga Essence for something else, and I wanted more defense for fighting Fatalis, so I just put a defense five up there. Once Safi Jiva comes back, I'll farm for another attack five, or yeah, attack five, and we'll get more DPS. So there's that. Um, we have two evade windows on the uh, evade reloading on the. Uh, weapon and then the recoil suppressor so that you don't have the recoil when you shoot sticky light sticky level three so pretty simple stuff um don't really need to go too much in, in depth with it to start things off like i said full dragon head beta everything dra everything fatalis beta because of all the slots it's insane and then our charm is an awakening charm level three now for the slots and the decorations for the skills that we get 
with all these decorations. We get our Agitator level 7, Artillery level 5, Evade Window level 5, Tool Specialist level 5, Slugger level 4, Stun Resistance level 3, Free Element slash Ammo Up level 3, Peak Performance level 3, Divine Blessing level 3, with uh, whenever, two extra whenever we have our mantles on. So that's what the two stars are for. Crit Eye level 2, which doesn't really matter. Weakness Exploit level 2, which doesn't really matter. Recovery up, and then we get the inheritance and transcendence uh skills from fatalis now as you can see the jewels on screen here are very they're they're all over the place you will have better jewels than i will 100 percent. like i could probably get more skills in if i had more challenger jewel plus pluses in there but i don't so there's that so i have an artillery jewel plus four on the aqua shot another artillery just plus plus four on the headpiece and then a single artillery jewel one on the headpiece now i don't i don't know if there is a combo out there so you can get artillery plus something else i didn't have any and you know i didn't want to overcap it so there it just the it's level one slot right there it is what it is right next moving on flawless protection jewel four flawless slash evasion jewel four flawless slash maintenance jewel four challenger jewel plus challenger protection challenger evasion challenger maintenance challenger maintenance challenger maintenance ko maintenance ko protection ko medicine ko evasion so basically the standard skills that i wanted in this build that make it really good and make it so it's super comfy but you have insane damage is agitated level seven to you know so you get that extra dps then extra damage artillery level five to help out with your stickies evade window level five because evading is awesome tool specialist level five because i just kind of had the any of the challenger jewels in there and it just kind of worked out that and it makes it so that i can have my mantles more often and there is that slugger level four now i would like slugger level five but as i said i don't have the jewels so things could be worked out but slugger because sticky light bow gun impact damage is insane free element slash ammo up so you can get the maximum capacity for ammo peak performance level three because you should not be getting hits and if you get hit just heal it off to have peak performance it's insane divine blessing level three or level five whenever you have a mantle on just so that if you do get hit most of the time when you get hit you're gonna get one shot by tax and max master rank so this will make it so that you are you know you won't get one shot it's kind of just simple like that um there's that's about it the critical eye weakness exploit and recovery uh don't really matter recovery up is just there i just didn't have an extra um ko slash you know protection jewel or evasion uh, yeah so that's about it that's the build let me know what you think about it I know things can be reworked and all the things around. We have a Rocksteady Mantle Plus and a Temporal Mantle Plus. Now you could run any sort of Mantle Plus you want. And if you don't want Tool Specialist, I usually run Tool Specialist on my two mantles. Because then it makes the other mantle come up faster. So there is that. It's pretty nice. I think it's pretty good. That's it though. That's it. As you can see in the background, we're doing about 100 and. 50 damage when everything's procced per sticky light bow gun on the gold wraithian and the silver rathlos because i wanted to upgrade the impact mantle plus also this build here if you get rid of slugger and you put in heavy artillery and part breaker this build right here is a good way to fight fatalis and get the two breaks on the horns plus the break on the chest and break the wings i aim for the head because i need those fatalis eyes those evil eyes so there's that since um you can't ko is kind of pointless on uh, fatalis so you can plug that in and have a safe way to fight him while still doing extra damage and not having to worry about softening his parts there you go that's the build if you guys did enjoy make sure you leave a like comment down below if you like using sticky light bogan if you don't that's your opinion that's your cool beans i like using it every once in a while it helps out with some monsters that i struggle with even though, yeah. So, subscribe, please. <laughs> do it. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. I do stream over on Twitch every Monday. Link will be down in the description below. 